this was basically my audition uh, to see if they were, uh, if I was able to do uh, replicate uh, a sketch from back then. And so I sent that in. They were very happy with it. And this was actually the the pencil sketch that I used, or charcoal sketch I used, or they used in the movie. And then I would Photoshop it and uh, change it up a little in the dark and try to make it look more pen-like. And if you look over here, these are the, this is my sketch of the original sketch that was, that was done from the original murder trial. So you can see quite the difference. And when they contacted me, they said, I, I told them, I said, there's no way I'd be able to draw like, <laughs> like that. But um, I was able to do sort of a combination. There's more trying to make it a bit more rudimentary. And then I got to sort of like a happy place. I kind of simulated the, uh, the actual artwork from the trial. The main thing, or the I think what people might be interested in is the uh, the work I did for the Duffy trial and uh, my court art, um, and so these are some of the printed pieces from um, the trial, and this is the uh, the uh, the finished artwork, and if you go over here. The coloring comes after doing uh, the sketches. Well, here's uh, Patrick Brazo. That's that's not obviously from the uh, the Duffy trial, but that's that's a standard uh, pencil I would do before I, I would color it. But uh, here is one I did of um, all the uh, the lawyers for the defense side at one time. And then I would uh, go and color that, and then I would uh, send it off to uh, to the media outlets uh, for television uh, that night. There's a familiar face. Oh, there you go. You could actually do a side by side before and after. So you could see the where there's a little there's a lot of painting involved, smoothing things up. And normally I would just take notes. Um, there you go, beige, gray hair. Uh, I would take notes of his uh, tie. And um, so I would have a good idea when I'd uh, go in and uh, start coloring it.